Hey everybody, it's Maggie Mulhern from Modern Salon TV, and I am here with Hillary. Say your last name. Hi, Bill Stad. Bill Stad. How cool is she? Look at her. She's got this red <laughs> hair and this cool green shirt, and look at those shoes. <laughs> uh, we're, we're loving Hillary. Okay, so we're at Arojo in Soho in New York City. We're actually in, I'm going to show this to you, we're in the, um, the school area. Um, the students went on break and we said we're gonna come in here because it's nice and quiet. Hillary is a master cutter mm -hmm. at Arojo and I said, Hillary, do you have some tips of the day? Any good tips on, on how to razor? She's a razor master and she's gonna show us how to hold it and all those kinds of things. So I'm gonna turn this around. You guys ask your questions and Hillary is going to demo on the lovely, what is your name? Ellen. Ellen, and Ellen is an assistant here, right? Yeah. She's a, she, yeah, look at her. And she volunteered yes. with a little strong arming. So <laughs> I'm gonna flip this around. And Miss Hillary. Okay guys, so this is our Rojo razor and the way that we use the razor here at Rojo is we are going to flip this razor around where the red part of the razor is facing towards the ground. We're gonna use our two fingers, our uh, forefinger and our middle finger, and the razor is just gonna slide right in the middle there. Then we're gonna turn the razor over, cupping our hands over, and uh, we're gonna allow for these three fingers and our thumb to be uh, holding the comb. Now you wanna use, um, these three fingers so that the forefinger is connected around the razor so it's always facing away from you because you never want to obviously cut your client. All right, so we have lots of questions here. Number oh, okay. one, what is your favorite razor to cut with? Okay, we use the Feather Plier razor and Arojo brands those so you can also find those on our website at arojostudio.com. Okay, and then the other question people keep asking is, do you razor on wet hair, dry hair? What's your preference? We only razor on uh, wet hair. Okay. We're not, we, we don't razor on dry hair. Okay, and then the other question was about the folding razor. Can you do it with a non-folding razor? You can absolutely do it with a non-folding razor. We, um, in our classes, teach to hold it a little differently. Like, we do not put the um, our finger in the hole of those feather razors. So, um, but you can absolutely do it with another razor. Mm -hmm. And then the last question before we let you do the demo, what about replacements? Um, the blade replacements, we have, um, they come in a packet of 20 blades and I usually use about um, two blades for every, every haircut. Or I mean, I'm sorry, two haircuts for every blade. Okay, cool, so give us a little demo. We're gonna be right okay, here following great. you. So just gonna dampen the hair down, and I'm just gonna cut in a really uh, nice line in Ellen's hair. And the beautiful thing about the razor is that it actually, you know, gives a little bit of a texture and a softer edge to the line. So I'm gonna come in here, and I'm just going to do shorter strokes which is called closed blade is what we, what we use the term for. Coming on through. If you have a little bit of an edge, you can cut that right off. I'm using the fine teeth of my comb. And again, a closed blade. And I'm sorry to be right so on top of you, Hillary, mm -hmm. but this is a better, um, does your razor have a guard on it? So it does guess. not, but we, um, do have guards available for our razors when we sell them. And is this flat against the section or at an angle? Um, my blade is somewhat at an angle, but my fingers are flat to the section. And I always wanna be able to see my section underneath. And you can also, um, when you're razoring, it's kind of all about the feeling of the hair, so I can feel my guide underneath kind of melting away. See how you can get just a nice soft line in there with that. Um, so against the skin, somebody's asking, use again, can you use it against the skin? Well, that's if you want to draw blood. <laughs> you can use it against the skin. I would suggest being a little bit more comfortable with the um, razor before you start using it against the skin. And then when at the end of this, somebody wants to know how to hold it if you do not have a folding razor, if it's not folding. Okay, so um, if you don't have a folding razor, you're gonna kind of hold it like you would hold a pencil. So uh, um, it would be hard, but it'd be kind of like this. I gotcha. Yep. 
So if it was straight up and down, you would be holding it like this. You can even put your finger out so that you get like a little bit more precision to it. All right, this is a question from me, Maggie Mulhern. Mm -hmm. um, what, how do you, your clients obviously are used to the razor, but what about those clients who have heard so many horrible things about a razor? What do you say to them? How do you make them? So I never um, pressure anybody into using um, a, razor, a razor on their hair. I think that the more comfortable they get with you, they will become more comfortable with the razor. And also, I always let my clients know that it's never the razor that does the damage to the hair, it's the person behind the razor. So I um, I just, you know, I, I, I give examples and I, I tell them, you know, how, how nice it's gonna make the hair um, feel and the weight removal um, is is so nice with the razor and, and adding that texture to it. So if you change the angle, what are you going for? If you change the angle of the blade, uh -huh. talk to us about that. I'm coming over so here. So now I'm going to show you a couple little um, a little things that we do to add a little bit of texture to the hair, right? So if I come in with this section, we do what we call tipping to remove the weight. So wherever there's dark areas, you wind up the razor before it hits the hair. We call it air before hair. And as it hits the hair, I'm just going to come in here with a consistent motion and just remove a little bit of that weight. I don't go any further than about an inch and a half above where the hair, um, the hair is. So again, I can do it on this side, and these are just examples. Now I see where there's, you know, a lighter area, and then there's a darker area. So you want to be, you know, not as heavy-handed in that lighter area as you would be in the darker area. So I'm kind of moving on through it. I haven't really hit the hair. Now I've hit the hair, and I'm working in to make that a little bit lighter. Okay, questions about curly curly hair. Using yeah, that's great. I love to use a razor on curly hair because, hair. <laughs> yeah, what it does is it ends up um, making the, the curls kind of intertwine together so that the curls kind of lay in a really nice, like, um, way. And I think that sometimes when you're cutting with the scissor, you, your layers and everything are kind of one on top of the other on top of the other. And then when you use the razor, it's gonna kind of melt together and make a beautiful, beautiful shape. Okay. So I know I, I grabbed Hillary away from, from a cut and we have just another minute with her. So yeah. um, what, what is there a difference in the cut if you're using a razor with or without a guard? Um, there is. The, thing, the difference between um, using a guard and not using a guard is that no matter what, the hair is gonna always hit the guard first. So when you don't have a guard, it's nice because you're having direct contact with, um, for the razor with the hair. So that would be the difference, but I always recommend using a guard. It's obviously an extremely, extremely sharp tool. Ours is extremely sharp. And um, I, would, I would absolutely recommend like just getting started by using the guard. The other nice thing about our guards on this razor is they're removable. So you can remove it and you can also pull down the guard so you can get a little bit of direct contact with that tip and work on that tipping technique that I had showed you. All right, and how often do you change your blades? I change my blade um, about every two haircuts unless I have a really big haircut with a lot of hair then I would put on a fresh blade. Okay, so, cool. yeah. right, so my last question is, um, why wet, and uh, how do you feel about wet versus dry? I know we started with that, um, but do you ever do it on dry I hair? I don't ever cut uh, with my razor on dry hair. Um, when the hair is wet, you get a little bit more slip to the hair, and it's just gonna honestly be a bit healthier for the hair. Instead of, um, when, you, when you're razoring on dry hair, the ends are gonna split, and it's just not gonna look as, is good. Okay, so last question. Yeah. How does one get more information about Arojo? Um, Arojo.com. I know you guys yeah, have Arojo classes Yeah, ArojoStudio.com, and um, we have, we offer a lot of classes. It's all on our website, and you can um, get our razors on ArojoProducts.com. And you can so. get heated razors? Last question. And last what? Question. Heated razors. 
No heated razors, okay. just this razor. Okay, cool. Yeah. Bye, everybody. Thank Bye. you, guys. The class has come back. Class and thank back. you for letting us uh, interfere with everything. Thank you, our model, for thank letting you, us Ellen. cut your hair. Okay, bye-bye. Thanks, Hillary. Awesome. Bye, everybody. Bye.